Morning, St. Rose. My name is Caitlin. And I'm Richler, and this is the all-new St. Rose Life HD. Your daily dose of everything happening here at St. Rose High School. On today's edition, we have your daily announcements, morning prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance. That and more on this edition of St. Rose Life for Monday, March 13th, 2017. And today's schedule is regular. It's now time for this morning's uh, prayer. So please put yourself in the presence of God, clear your mind, open your heart, and please stand for this morning's prayer. Audio Jungle. A reflection by Sean Donahue, based on Luke 6, um, based on, in the, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said his dis to his dis disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. How can we act more like Jesus and be better disciples of him, our lives and Lent, especially during the season of Lent? Mercy means the compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom is within one's power to punish or harm. Showing mercy towards one another is one great example of how we can grow closer to Jesus. If we treat others as we would like to be treated, then we would not only be rewarded now, but when we meet Jesus as well. Jesus died on the cross to save us, and we continue to pray to him, asking forgiveness for when we have sinned. Jesus is kind and understanding and shows mercy when he forgives our sins. In order for our sins to be saved and forgiven, we must truly be sorry and when to be better people. Lord, during his season of Lent, we ask you to help us before, more like, before us be more like you and to show us mercy and kindness towards, the, towards those around us. Amen. And then, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge, pledge of allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and, and justice for all. Monday, March 13, 2017, and today's schedule is regular. Here is today's daily announcement. A mandatory meeting for current NHS members will be held on Wednesday, March 15th at 7.45 in the Little Theater. Friday service. There is no Friday service this week. If you're looking to try something different this Lent, check out Alteration. This program is designed with you in mind. Lent is about encountering Christ and journeying with Him. Our next session of Alteration is Monday, March 13th in room 104, beginning at 2.45 and will conclude at 4 o'clock. Conciliation, period 7 and 8 religion classes will have the opportunity to receive God's mercy in the Sacrament of Reconciliation today. The Tuesday morning, ma the Tuesday, yes, the Tuesday morning Mass is March 14th for all spring athletes. Please report to the church at 7.50 so Mass can begin promptly at 8 o'clock. Attendance will be taken there at, ma at church, yeah. so you do not need to report to homeroom. Wild Goose. The Wild Goose will be meeting at, this week at, on Tuesday and Thursday in room 104 beginning at 2.45. The program will conclude by 4 o'clock. There will be no Helping Hands meeting, oh, I'm sorry, there will be Helping Hands meeting during lunches on Thursday, March 16 in the Lowe's Theater. We will be discussing Lent service opportunities, oh, service opportunities on Easter. We'll begin 15 minutes after lunch begins. There will be no Magnify this week. Oh, tennis practice for this week is Wednesday on and Thursday in the weight room from 2.30 to 3.30. On Wednesday, March 22nd, Acoustic Spirituality meets to discuss spiritual elements in popular and contemporary music. Join us in, in room 104 at 2.45. Snacks will be provided. Sophomore retreat. The sophomore class retreat is Wednesday, March 15th. We will be bused from school to the retreat at St. William, the Abba Church in How Howell. The retreat will end in time for 
you to be bused back to St. Rose for regular busing and after school activities. You are allowed to dress down wearing the walkathon shirt or battle of the classes shirt and will need to, to bring a bagged lunch after prayer and pledge. On Wednesday, you will report to the gym. Our theme is the armor of God. Sick. Um, the Stations of the Cross have been a Lenten devotional for Catholics for centuries. You are invited to join Mr. Petrillo and the St. Rose community on Friday to pray the Stations at 7 o'clock. You are invited to meet at the school at 6 and will walk to Federico's for a simple dinner. Bring money beforehand. Mr. Petrillo, oh, see Mr. Petrillo for more information. Who's he, what's it? Which station is depicted here? Name the end number. Submit your answer by 2.30 on Friday to earn points. Current leaders are Mia Quills, which with 230 points, and Emma Spang with 170 points. And, the, and those are your daily announcements. If you missed any of today's announcements, you can check the monitors in the hallway and the cafeteria or log on to St. Rose website and rewatch our show. It's now time for your daily trivia question today. See if you and your classmates can answer today's trivia question. Trivia. A statue of what animal, which symbolizes a rising stock market, is also a tourist attraction in New York's financial district? Bear, wolf, bull, or shark? The charging bull, a massive sculpture symbolizing optimism, is located at the intersection of Broadway and Morris Street. Making tech news, the company in this translation business is pre-selling earbuds that connect to a smartphone app and almost instantly translate another language. They retail for around $300. They su they're supposed to ship later this summer. They're in they'll initially be able to translate five languages, but they're not perfect. Sometimes there's something loose in the translation. I'm trying out Waverly earbuds. They do live translation from one ear to another, and I'm here with the CEO and founder of the company, so I'm gonna try it out with you. ¿Qué has visto aquí en Barcelona? What you've seen here in Barcelona. We went to a really great restaurant last night and had paella. Fuimos a un restaurante realmente estupendo anoche y tenía paella. Almost there. Walk me through what's happening here. You do need to pair the earbuds to the phone. Uh, once you turn the microphone on, they do stay on. And you can put the phone in your pocket and just speak, and the earpiece, earbuds will pick up what you're saying. Cuando eras joven, ¿cuál era tu serie de televisión favorita? When I was young, what is your favorite TV series? I said, when you were young, ¿estás casado? You are married. So I said, are you married? So is this simultaneous translation or consecutive translation? Yeah, so the first version is actually waiting until you're done speaking before it translates. Again, the whole idea of the earpieces, the earbuds, is to kind of create a more natural experience. I put the phone in my pocket and we're just talking to each other. Uh, one last question. ¿Vas a dejar a todos los traductores sin trabajo? You're going to leave all the translators out <laughs> of work. It'll, it has a long way to go before it's perfect, but maybe one day, decades down the road. So it got it almost right. So there's a long way to go before it's perfect, but maybe in a few decades, it'll be on the freeway. Close enough. Almost there. It's so now time for today's clip of the day. There's a place in the north, northeastern U.S. that no, that's no stranger to hurricane force winds, even though it's not directly on the Atlantic coast. It's Mount Washington, New Hampshire. And in today's show, it's, it gets a one... Uh, one, 10 out of 10 because in addition to last Thursday's highest temperatures of negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, it was windy. Thanks to the Mount Washington Observatory, we can see that what it's like to take a walk in 110 miles per hour. And, today's, and that's today's clip of the day. And that will do it, do it for us today. <laughs> Thanks for watching this edition of St. Rose Live. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Rich Lurie. And I'm Caitlin. Have a great day here at St. Rose. Maybe we will <laughs> see you tomorrow or maybe not. Thank you and God bless.